Hey guys, today we are going to install Savix and monitor Pi-hole. I am going to install Savix on a Debian 12 machine using MariaDB and Apache. If you use a different configuration, visit the Savix download page for instructions. All commands shown will be in the GitHub repo linked in the description. First, we install MariaDB. Then run the basic security script. We currently don't have a root password for the database, so we just hit enter. Type Y for all the prompts and set a secure password when asked. Next we install Zabbix. Download the Zabbix dev file and install it. Run apt update to refresh your repositories. Now we can install the Zabbix packages. Now we set up our MariaDB. For that, log into the MariaDB with the password we set during the security script. Create the Zabbix database. Create a Zabbix user with a password. Please remember to change that password. Give that user access to the database. Set the options for the Zabbix SQL script and exit the database. Run the Zabbix SQL script. Here you have to enter the password for the Zabbix user. We now log into our database again. And deactivate the options we set for the Zabbix SQL script. And exit the database. Now edit the Zabbix conf file. A little bit down you can set the database password. Save the file. I don't have any other services running on this machine, so I changed the Apache root path directly to Zabbix. You also can leave it like that, you just have to add slash Zabbix in the URL. Go to the Apache sites config and add document root. We change that to user pair Zabbix and save the file. Now you can restart and enable your services. Open HTTP your Zabbix IP in a browser 
remember if you didn't change the Apache root path at slash decided at the end. And follow the instructions on the screen. Set your language and hit next. Everything is okay here, so next. Set your database password again. The server name. I changed to dog. Also can set your time zone. Everything looks fine, so next step and finish. Log in with user admin and password savix all lowercase. First we change the admin password. Go to users, users, click admin and change password. Hit update and log in again with your new password. Now we add our PyHole to Zabbix. First allow your Zabbix server to call the PyHole API. Log into your PyHole via SSH and edit the out PHP file. Under the authorized host names array, add your Zabbix IP. If the last entry for me here localhost doesn't have a comma, set one. And save the file and restart the PyHole FTL service. To get your API token, perform the following command. Save that token, we need it later again. Go to the Zabbix community templates GitHub repo and download the fitting template to your local machine. Click on the YAML and hit here download raw file. Now go to Zabbix data collection templates. Top right corner click import and select the file you just downloaded. Hit import, import, after that's done we go to data collection hosts, tick create host, give it a name, Select the template. And select our PyHole template. Give it a host group. So usually you would also monitor the PyHold server with the Zabbix agent. I don't do that, so I have to manually add an interface. For that, I click Add, select SNMP, and enter the PyHall uh, IP. Then click to Macros. Under Value, add your API key. And the macro you add the defined macro from the template. Hit add. So after a minute or so, 
we should see data from the pi hole. Now we go to monitoring hosts and click on graphs under our pi hole machine. And we see data is collected. We go back to hosts and click on latest data. You say all the data that is collected. You successfully installed Cervix and added Pi Hole monitoring. Now you can create your own dashboard and add other clients via SNMP or Cervix agent and create alerts. There's also a template to monitor Proxmox. That's it for now and I'll see you next time.